What's going on guys, Orzy here and welcome back to a brand new video. So today we have got the second in form Vinicius Junior card to review today. I absolutely fell in love with this guy's first in form card. It was so good, the pace was there, the skill moves came off very nicely, the dribbling ability was amazing. Obviously there wasn't some great stuff to that first in form card, AK1 being his shooting ability. It was good with the right chem style, but it wasn't anything crazy I would say in game. But the thing is about this card, he's had a good boost to that shooting. Now, it is obviously a plus two overall, but the stats are a whole different story. It's a plus two to pace, a plus two to dribbling, a plus four to shooting, a plus one to defending, a plus three to physicals, and a plus two to passing as well. He's still obviously five foot nine. He's got a high medium work rate, five star skill moves, and a four star weak foot. Now, the first in form on Xbox is going for like 215k. And as you clearly can see, 575k i have picked him up 20 minutes after he just came out so most likely he will drop in price either way the chem style i have gone for is the exact same chem style i used on his first in form and it is going to be the dead eye chem style the reason i go for the dead eye on junior is because of the short passing he's passing in general like the short passing is absolutely terrible straight up it is terrible in game he can barely pass a ball like six yards so we have to pretty much go with the dead eye chem style giving him an outrageous increase to his to his passing but also giving him an outrageous increase to the shooting stats as well like look how good the shooting stats actually actually looks now like he's got 97 attack and positioning 89 finishing 98 shot power with 83 long shots as well on top of that he has got the outside foot shot trait as well. Now, the other chem style you could possibly go for when it comes down to this card is the marksman chem style. The only reason I feel like you go with the marksman chem style is simply the strength. If you want to get if you want to increase it by a further plus 10, that is literally it. Other than that, if you're thinking you're just using a marksman chem style to boost these dribbling stats, I can tell you right now. He doesn't feel like he has 78 reactions in game. No shot. No, like his first in form didn't feel like it. So why would his second in form feel like it? You know what I mean? So for me, I definitely do feel like Dead Eye Chemstall is the way to go. Now, the links for Junior is absolutely amazing as well. You got obviously the Brazilian, you know, you can see it. I'm rocking with the Brazilian kit and everything. He obviously plays for Real Madrid as well, aka okay, in the La Liga. You can link him up with so many, so many good players. But I've just gone for Inaki Williams and Fakir to get him on that full chemistry. Now, when it comes down to the positions, I am going to be playing this guy, obviously, in his natural position, in the left wing position, in a 4-3-3 formation. But I also want to use him up front. I want to play him in that striker position because with the Dead Eye Chem style, with those kind of shooting stats, you need to test out the shooting. It's simple as that. So yeah, 4-4-2, striker position. But let's get into the games. Let's hit that down the line, into the middle there to Junior. I'm going to go for ball roll into the scoot turn. Okay. All right. Reverse that. Can we get the angle for the shot? I can already tell how this review is going to go. Oh, my God. Like, look how nice the reverse flip flap came off. And look at the shot. Come on. Keep going. Keep going. Use that pace. This guy is... Oh, my. That's on a weaker foot. That right... It's on a weaker foot. And it flies in like that. The pace, by the way, on this guy no joke is absolutely amazing you see how fast he just ran into the space there and kunku that's a bad touch bro ball roll around him well played junior making a nice run there go for that scoop turn see if we can maybe spin this guy inside out that is very very weird defending from from my opponent like he kind of just panicked right i'm pretty sure he did he didn't know where i was gonna go Double way that. That's perfect to Junior. I'm just going to see if I can just use his pace to sprint straight through and just chip the keeper. And it's absolutely amazing. I'm telling you guys, it's the pace. The pace is what makes him, let's say, unstoppable in those kind of areas. Give it to the edge there. There you go. Back into the inside. Give it to Junior. Fake shot that. Nice turn. Wait for that guy to come towards me. Nice, McGee. has been cancelled. Can we go for it? Nah, this time it's just going to go off target. I must admit, I did try to green it and I ended up whiting it. So if it went in, it probably would have been a slight bit of luck. Can't tell you, can you squeeze it for the gap? Yes, you can. RBA that down. That's an amazing touch, by the way. Oh my God. The amount of power I put onto that pass was absolutely ridiculous. It was not needed at all, but Junior took a touch there like an absolute God. And it just allowed him pretty much to accelerate into the space and get that easy goal. Get past him. Oh, well played, Kimpembe, bro. 
Pass it up. This is beautiful. Junior with the scoop turn there. Is this guy going to come towards me? We skip past him. Shot cancel around him. Shot cancel again. Tight angle. He didn't want to shoot. I was... Oh, my God. We did so well. Oh, we did so well to get into the angle as well. And we just couldn't shoot. But we eventually come out with a goal. Because this guy has made a big, big mistake. And you cannot make those kind of mistakes when you're matching up against a second informed junior. Going to play all the way down to Fakir. Junior's actually made a nice run. And he's beat the guy for pace. This guy brought out the keeper. No. Hold up. We still got an opportunity. Nice. Can I? No, I tried to scoot turn around the corner. It looked like he was actually going to go for a standing fake shot as well. We completely, completely screw up the opportunity. I should have done way better there. Pass up there quickly, Conte. Nice. RBA straight to him. Good touch and turn. Use that pace now. Just go. Really go for it. Gomez once again, though, going to catch up. We hit him with the sombrero flick. Green it? No, I mistimed it. Please? Nah, that's all on me. That would have been a beautiful goal as well. Is this guy an all-out press? I'm pretty sure he is, to be fair. We might have an opportunity here because of that as well. Nice. See if I can maybe green it across goal. And we end up whiting it by straight at the keeper. The weaker foot for shooting, it doesn't seem bad at all. Like, the power is definitely there. It's just you are def definitely going to notice sometimes the accuracy isn't there. Quickly pass up. Extra pass to Fakir. Come on, we could have a quick counter-attack here. I kind of need to go for a cutback. I see Junior making that run. It's an amazing run. Can we get the finish? Yes, we can. First time shots inside the box this year. They are very good. And when you got Junior, especially on that dead eye chem style, you might as well give it a go. This guy's on a press and he's covering pretty much every option that I actually have. So I just have to pretty much X ball it over. And we got a little bit lucky. Let's go. Come on, Fakir. We'll roll that. Play it in behind because Junior once again is making that run. You know what? I don't know what kind of animation that is. I'm going to be honest to you. It looks like he tried to do an outside foot shot, but then it went so wrong. It was ridiculous. If that went in, I would have been very surprised. Let's just put it that way. He's pushed there. I can go for an overtop through ball. Come on, Junior. Get onto it, bro. Nice. Fake shot. Or scoop turn around him. No, Martinez, man. Well played. And he's gave the ball in a stupid area. We've greened it. Just smack it down the line there. That's a good touch. A very good touch. I'm going to see if I can just use his pace. Keep in mind, this is against Carl Walker we're talking about. We've turned him, though. Inside out. You know what? I kind of want to go for it. I kind of want to go for it. And it's actually ended up hitting crossbar. The fact that he's shooting, just in general, has been upgraded by a plus four. And I used to do those kind of stuff with his inform. I was like, you know what? I might as well give it a go on his second inform just to see if it goes in. It was a good... Shot, let's say, but obviously hits the crossbar. There you go. Take a touch there. I kind of want to quickly go for one, two. Are we going to get in behind? Yes, we are. Simple over top through ball, and we're gone. Head touch that. Keep going. Use that pace to maybe get around Virgil van Dyke. He did definitely outpace him. It's just when it comes down to their strength, we all know who's going to win that battle. Maybe give it to Naki Williams. Give it to your boy Junior now. He's just going to easily... Run in behind. We green it. And the keeper had no chance. Absolutely no chance of saving that one. I was thinking for a second he was going to try to hit that with his left foot. But he clearly didn't. And it gr it was green into the corner. An RBA straight into Junior. Maybe I can just use that pace to get around Carl Walker. Actually, ball roll, scoop turn through the legs. Wait for it. Hit him with the... I was about to say, I was about to say, hit him with the roulette. I was just waiting for him to commit. It was rather going to be a free kick. It was or a penalty. It's simple as that. But yeah, we got the penalty for it. Let's switch it over. He's got 79 pens. And you best believe we're going to try to go top pins here. Come on. That's not perfect. That is, though. Hopefully. Yellow timed. No. Nah. We've actually... I thought that was spot on. Maybe it's because I didn't green it. Maybe it's because I yellowed it. Just hit it down the line to him. Take that touch in the inside. Bro, this Carl Walker, I must admit, he's all over the place. He doesn't know where this junior is actually going to go. We keep using the pace there. Can we get the RVA across? No, we can't. 
This is what I mean, right? You play this guy in a striker position, he's going to be a problem. You play him in a winger position, he's going to be a problem for your opponent. It's simple as that. There's not a position this guy honestly can't play in the attacking position. Go forward here, Conte. Just go for a ball roll. Pass it back. First time. <laughs> Come on. Come on, man. First time. Like that. Post and in. I didn't think it was going to go in. I'm going to be honest. But it flies into the back of the net. Going to see if I can maybe just go through the gap here. He beats for Car he beats Carl Walker with ease once again. Double way it into the middle. Fick here. Hits post. Can we get a goal? Obviously, right? Obviously, we hit crossbar again. So it is time to review. And we ended up playing three games with Junior. We walked away with eight goals. Eight goals in three games tells you everything you need to know, pretty much. The card is an absolute beast. He's first in form I fell in love with. This card, I honestly didn't feel like he was going to be so much better. But he is. He definitely is. The pace this card has compared to the other one, I'm going to be honest, even though it's a plus two, you can't compare the two. You really can't. This card feels way, way faster. He feels up there with like an Mbappe kind of pace. That's how fast it is. You saw multiple times I was getting around Carl Walker for fun. You saw multiple times I was beating centre-backs out there for fun. And how easy it was just to me to go into the space if it was open. Like, it was so, so nice to see. The shooting ability as well. Oh, my God. The difference between the shooting from his first in form to this second in form, once again, you can't compare the two. Like the first in form, it had a decent shot time to time. If you could obviously green, it was all right. But it wasn't consistent. It didn't go in every single time. With this card right here, some of the angles I was scoring, I was seeing him score at was an absolute joke. Simple as that. So yeah, shooting, you can 100% tell, has been massively, massive, massively improved. Passing ability, it's all right. You know what I mean? It's all right. There's nothing like crazy about it. Once again, the short passing is good with the dead eye chem style but the long passing obviously doesn't get increased and it's meh let's say you can go for those over top, over top through balls all the way to the other side but just know it isn't going to get onto the player every single time it's going to be very inconsistent the dribbling ability it's junior at the end of the day man the guy feels like an absolute god the guy feels like someone like Neymar when it comes down to doing skill moves when it comes down to just left stick dribbling it's unreal and the physicals we didn't expect it to be good we all know we didn't the one thing I would say that is really nice of an upgrade from EA is the plus three stamina that right there is absolutely unbelievable because even though 85 stamina is more than enough we don't mind the plus three we're walking away with a smile on our face it's simple as that with the stamina being increased either way where would I put this card in the ranking of the tier list. Oh, is he going to be an S tier? I don't think he's as good as Mbappe. I'm going to be honest, but he's close. I would honestly put this card like an A plus into the tier list. Now, who would I obviously compare him to? I would compare him to a Neymar, 100%. Like this is the thing, right, with this junior card. He is the best left winger in the whole of the La Liga. You cannot compare this guy to a Dan Juma. That Dan Juma card that came out like a few weeks ago. No chance. That Dan Juma card, he's good at shooting. But dribbling ability and stuff like that. This card is so, so much better. So yeah, he is the best left winger by far in the La Liga. And would I pay 575k for this card? I would happily. As you clearly can see, I have. I would happily do it. Because even though it's a plus two overall from his first in form and his first in form is going for 215k this card feels so much so much better it's an absolute joke but i hope you guys did enjoy the video if you did make sure to leave a like make sure to leave a comment but for now peace